Hello guys, what's up? This is Andrew and we are back with another video. This video will be about seven top jigs and the lowest competitive jigs on Fiverr that you can use. And these are basically the works you can do on Canva. So if you are actually looking forward to work as a freelancer and you are looking for better niches to work on and for easy niches where you will not be facing a lot of competition, this video is for you. So keep watching the video till the end and let's move towards my browser. I hope my screen is visible to you all and yeah. So here it is. These are top seven uh, gigs. I am gonna discuss one by one. Okay, so the first is this YouTube thumbnail design. So you can actually design thumbnails. You, I hope you understand what it means to design YouTube thumbnails. So if you are doing this, you will get uh, say a recurring clients because nobody gonna change say they are the YouTube designer or YouTube thumbnail designer every time, right? So if you're working as a YouTube thumbnail designer, you're going to get uh, first thing context. You're going to get a lot of context. Plus you're going to get sustaining context who will sustain as your context, right? So this was the first gig. You can just uh, uh, make a gig on this keyword and you can get your own thumbnails from say Canva. Okay. So these are basically Canva skills. You can use Canva to make or execute all the skills, right? So the first was YouTube thumbnail design. Second is let's move towards the second and here it is second is instagram infographics so infographics are basically graphics simple graphics but that contains some set of information okay so suppose if you're a programmer and you want to teach other people like uh, the basics of programming some, the basics of c plus plus or something like so you would be needing to put a lot of or execute a lot of paragraphs in your post right and that is what this means. And this is quite popular on Instagram. People put a lot of infographic posts on Instagram, whether it is about health or whether it is about fitness or it's about programming or something else like that, yoga and all. So you can work as an Instagram infographic designer, right? This was the second gig. Let's move towards the third. Okay, this is the third gig. That is Favicon. Okay, so what is Favicon? Favicon could be anything. It could be like, uh, say, it could be a logo. And Favicon are basically not logos, but uh, these are somewhere symbols and set of symbols uh, depicting something. Okay, it could be related to animals. It could be related to, say, um, some uh, high-end graphics like we saw in Star Wars or something like uh, uh, transformers okay so this was the third gig okay uh favicon you can just type the word and you will get an idea about how this works it could be 3d and minimalist as well right so you can create a gig on this as well start taking orders and let's look, look at the average price these guys are charging so average price is around five dollars so you will be charging around five dollars for three favicons and that is really easy to make on canva and you will be easily able to achieve say fifteen dollars per day right so let's move towards the fourth. Okay, so this is the fourth gig which we are discussing today, poster design. So I hope you understand what does it mean, right? So you can design posters and you can design it simply on Canva. And it is actually really, you know, high income skill. If you can design poster, you will be able to earn say $35 and people are buying this, right? People, this guy has around 1000 reviews. So people are actually buying if you're selling posters and this is a high demand skill. Plus this is a really less competitive skill than the other skills we have in graphic designing. Let's move towards the fifth gig. Okay. So the fifth is menu design. So menu design, you can design menus for hotels, restaurants, or maybe you can design menus for their Instagram page, right? You can just contact them. And while you'll be contacting them, try to execute your pitch like a professional. Okay. So if you are writing, um, say a pitch to ITC, okay. You want ITC to buy your menu designing services. So you should be including a few facts about ITC, like, what is good in their profile and what is not good, what is not up to the standards, what interested you and what did not, right? So you should include all the information you liked and all the information that can be improved by your services, okay? So that actually somewhere increases the chance of conversion of that client, okay, which you are pitching. So let's move towards the sixth one.
Okay, uh, this is presentation. It is already written here. Like presentation could be anything. Yeah, right. You understand presentation the same we executed in schools and colleges. So this is the same thing. You can actually make presentation, video presentations, or say display presentations, normal presentations, or say high end three D presentation. It could be anything, but you can design presentation, and that is really easy. And sometimes it requires Canva, and sometimes it does not require Canva. Right? You can design great Pinterest. Uh, um say a uh, great presentation or for printer sell great presentation it could be for anything like you can design presentations on a microsoft powerpoint as well right so that is also software offered by microsoft to design presentation you can use that if you are working on windows 11 but if you have windows 10 installed on your device then it could not be a compatible uh, approach right so you can go on canva and because these are all canva skills so you can simply use canva for a presentation you just have to search presentation on canva and you, you will get around uh, say millions of uh, ideas and inspiration and uh, pre-built templates on presentation and uh, let's move towards the final gig we have and let it be loaded graph design okay so this is not graphic design don't misunderstood it as graphic designing this is not graphic design this is graph designing graph designing could be anything when you are actually putting a lot of information in say or uh, say specific sets that could be in form of bars or in form of pies that is called a graph so it could be anything okay it could be any data data related to a company data related to uh, youtube channel growth or say instagram profile growth and you can do it simply uh, using uh, Canva. You can just search Canva graphic designs and then you will get a lot of graphics, pre-built graphic, graph designs. Okay. And then you can do it simply. And if we look at the average price these guys are charging, they are charging around $40, right? So if you are actually working as a graphic designer, you can charge as more as $600, right? And this person is charging $600 and it is a Fiverr choice. Fiverr is approving what this guy is charging and his services. So these are the top seven law competitive jigs you can use today. And these are all Canvas skills. So these are basically really easy to execute. And I hope you like the video. I hope you're going to execute all the ideas. And if yes, don't forget to like the video. If you haven't subscribed my channel till yet, you should do it. And stay tuned for my further video, guys. Bye-bye and again.